launch with Teams? Well, actually, I'm very lucky because I live in London, and London is known as one of the most diverse multicultural cities in the world. So I don't think I've ever been to a meeting where there are predominantly white English people. We have all the nationalities that you can think of at a meeting. And depending on which culture, which ethnicity the person is from, their expectations of the meeting will be quite different to somebody else's. So the first thing that we do need to remember is to create the protocols that are expected from the meeting before the meeting, not at the meeting. So, for example, if we're looking at uh, people from India who are attending our meeting, within relation to time management, a lot of people in India will not be as strict about time management at a meeting. So let's imagine there's a meeting starting at 10 a.m., finishes at 11 a.m. It could be, especially depending on hierarchical levels, it could be that the senior employee who is expected to attend the meeting may only come in at 10, 15 or 20, 10, 20. It's also possible that the person who's chairing the meeting may feel that the agenda has not been concluded and stay on till say about 12.30, 11.30. On the other hand, let's take the same meeting to London. It'll be quite different. At the most, they might wait till about maybe three minutes, five minutes past 10 before the meeting starts, just in case somebody's running late. And up the dot of 11, the meeting will be concluded. So these are small things, but it's very important for us to understand that these small things do impact on any kind of meeting. The other point that I need to make is about our unconscious bias. We all have assumptions based on how things should be done. It's very important for us not to have this unconscious bias and to think without making assumptions, to ask questions, to get people to relate with each other and to get them to communicate outside of a meeting environment as well so that when they're at the meeting, they can talk more freely and openly with each other.